body. This is a short, gorgeous upper body with a tiny bit of um, core on the bottom. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five exercises three times. The first one, you need a pair of dumbbells, so Claire's got four kilos here. And we're going to do chest flies first. Make sure you've warmed up, so do a few little easy press-ups. Um, there's no cardio in this at all, so don't worry about that. Chest flies, so one minute this is going to be. Sorry, 45 seconds, not one minute, beg your pardon. Okay, so Claire's having her legs up just to make sure uh, that she's using her abs as well. Arms are above your chest. You're going to open them. Here we go. So going all the way open and then squeeze. Perfect. So imagine, so I'm going to give you teaching points while you're watching Claire. Imagine that you've got a big rubber ball here and you're trying to pop it as you bring your hands back. So squeeze and so make your own resistance. Make it hard for yourself. So you're using your pecs and bringing it back together. And those dumbbells should come across your chest, not over your face. Perfect. So we've got about 15 seconds to go. We're going to go straight from this into a lat pull-over, which will work your upper back, just here. We've got about six seconds to go, Claire. Good. So if your legs are tired, you can put them down. Claire, I'll put them down in the lat pull-over. Just do one more rep. And hold them there. Now, pop your feet down. A lat pull-over. Claire will do one demo. There you go. So you breathe in, and then you breathe out and use these to bring it back. Ready? Let's go. So this is 45 seconds as well. So when you get to this point, try and slot the shoulder blades down to bring the weights back. And that will really activate the right muscles. Try not to go around like that with your shoulders up by your ears. So Claire's got two of four kilos in each hand. You might find that what you're using is a little bit too light. Maybe sort of get something a little bit heavier next time. Now she's, got the, she's holding the weights apart. Now that makes it much more difficult. If you want to make it slightly easier, you can hold them together so they're touching. And they kind of stabilise each other. So you've got 10 more seconds on this. Then we're going to stand up and we'll do a shoulder press. But we're going to do that a slightly different way. Five more seconds. So you'll probably get two reps out, Claire. So one. Bring it up. Give us another one. Brilliant. Perfect. Good. Okay. Up you stand. So this time, you're going to start with your hands like that. Now you do 15 seconds on one arm, 15 seconds on the other, twice. So if that gets too much, you just bring one hand down by your side and concentrate on this one. Ready? So arms up. So try and keep your elbows level with your shoulders. Aww. Let's go. Push up. So Claire doesn't really like this one. <laughs> Let's go. So right arm. Let's get my watch to work properly. That's it. Push up. Good. So she's driving up. So this is uh, this one here is under, under stress already. One more rep. Hold it down. Perfect. Now this one. Lift up. Good. So we've got 15 seconds on this arm. Then we're going to go back and do it all again. By which time we'll be going. Whoa. And then we've got one more uh, exercise, which is a row and tricep. But don't worry about that. 10 seconds. Oh, sorry. 10 seconds gone. One more rep here. Fab. Okay. Back to the right arm now. Drive up. So the thing is, you can have your glutes switched on. So squeeze your glutes so that supports your lower back and keep your navel pulled in. So there's all this to think about, which is, which is holding you up and making your movement much more efficient. Other arm. That's it. Perfect. Good. Nice, Claire. So I'm here to make sure Claire doesn't let them drop down. Mean, huh? One more rep. Brilliant. Done. Good. Okay, onto your side now. So you're going to side view, you're going to drive, so bring the weights to your hip and then extend back and down. So it's upper back again and triceps. Three, two, one. Let's go. So it's, it's uh, 45 seconds. And see how Claire's got a lovely straight back. Try not to, so you need your glutes are switched on all the time. Try not to be like that because that's really going to hurt. So think, stick your bottom out. Stick your chest out to the floor, and then that will keep your back straight. That's it. So she's driving the weights up, bringing them here. Extend. So really tense your triceps. I'm sure the weights will be doing that by themselves. But no. tense the... Do you feel it? Yes. It's horrible, isn't it? Tense. Well, in a nice sort of way. Tense the triceps. You've got 10 seconds left, Claire. 
as it drive, push it away. Good, quite tough with four kilos. So if you've got another little pair of weights, maybe have those handy. If you wanted to swap, done, you're done. Okay, little core bit on the end. You're gonna do 10 crunches with your legs in the air, followed by 10 bicycle crunch, three times. You're counting, off you go. So it doesn't have to be, as the elbows stay forward, 10 crunches, followed by 10 bicycle crunch, three times. So that's 60 reps, and then that's done, then we're going back to the beginning to do our chest flies again. So there's no rest, I'm going to hand work, clear the weights. Is on 10? No. Okay, straight into your bicycle, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great technique. Eight, nine, ten. Back to ten crunches. One. That's it. Watch those elbows, keep them absolutely still. Three. So all she's doing is pushing her ribs right towards her hips. Nice still legs. Ten crunches, ten bicycle crunch. Hitting upper, lower, and your obliques. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. Six, seven, how are you doing? Nine, ten, third set, come on. One, two, three. So this is 60 reps, because we're doing the whole thing three times. You've done 180 reps on your core. Yes. Good. What number is that, Claire? Ten. Ten, perfect, good. Here we go, last one. One, two. Breathe it, have a moan. Mm. Back to our chest flies for 45 seconds. Ah. Okay? Funny bone. Okay. Arms up. So legs up, perfect. So if you want to if you want to be brave, you could straighten your legs out here. That uses your core even more, but of course you just use the core, so you might want to just keep them like that. <laughs> Let's go. 45 seconds. Open. And a big squeeze. So try and have a little pause at the bottom. Squeeze. That's it. Big squeeze. So as you put your legs up, your stomach muscles are working to keep your legs up. So you need to keep your navel pulled in. There's nothing stopping you putting your feet on the floor. If you want to put your feet on the floor, do that. 20 gone, you've got 25 to go. This is good. Remember they're coming over your chest. Don't let them come over the top of your head or over your face. 15, uh, yeah, 15 to go. And then we go straight into our lap pullover. Wonderful. Five seconds. Give me one more rep. Perfect. Straight into your lap pullover. All the way over. See so how Claire's arms don't actually change shape. They're not bending here. Well, that would be for the triceps. This is all about here. And so drop the shoulders down to bring the weights back. And then you're really working it. You can afford to actually go quite heavy on this exercise in terms of weight. If you have something too light, you're going to think, well, I don't really feel that. What's that about? Uh, but just make sure that you use your abs to keep your spine nice and still, so try not to arch the spine. You've got 15 to go. Brilliant. Have you got your favourite pair, the shoulder press? One more rep. All the way over. Tighten. Bring it back. Brilliant. Good. Okay, let's get up for shoulder press now. So 15 seconds. So see how you got on last time. Measure whether you want to swap your weights or keep one arm down. Ready. Let's take them up. Claire doesn't have that choice. Here we go. Right arm. 15 seconds. Drive it up. That's it. So Claire's keeping all this pulled in and tight and squeezing the glutes so she feels nice and solid so she's able to do the old the shoulder work quite well. Okay, other side, other arm. Let's go push, that's it, good. Drive up. Fabulous, five gone, we've got 10 seconds to go. Everybody okay? Think about technique, try and keep your body absolutely still as you're using your shoulders. So try not to lean over, done, other arm. Back to the first arm now for another 15 seconds. Brilliant. Everybody all right out there? Keep your glutes switched on. That kind of makes you forget about your shoulders. Done. This arm now. That's it. Good. 
Superb. Push it up. Nice work. 10 seconds. And then we're into the row tricep, which Claire obviously is also looking forward to. Done. Okay. Here we go. So drop the shoulders down. Nice. That's it. Good position. Here we go. And a row. So the, those weights get right round by your hips and you extend back down. The thing about filming is that it makes you work extra hard because you know you're in front of the camera. So Claire's getting a very good workout. <laughs> 10 goals. This is for 45 seconds. Then we're back on the floor doing your 10 crunches and your 10 bicycle crunch. Drive. Push it away. That's it. So you want to be squeezing. Squeeze my fingers with your shoulder blades, Claire. That's it. 20 seconds to go. Drive. Even if you've got no dumbbells, even if you just have two bottles of water, drive up. That will really give you a cracking workout. 10 seconds. Doing well, everybody. Five seconds to go. Come on, drive it up. That's it. Done. Good. On the floor. 10 crunches, 10 bicycle crunch. Ready. In three, two, one. Let's go. So 10 crunches. Push the rib cage towards the hips, hollow the navel, 10 bicycle crunch. Now, if you struggle with your 10 bicycle crunch, you keep going, Claire, and you count them. If you struggle with those, you can put the feet on the floor and you can do that. Just reach out. 10 of those. You don't have to have your legs up for your crunches, you can put your feet down. As long as your technique in bringing your shoulder blades off the floor is good. So in the uh, bicycle crunch, always try and get one elbow on the floor. That's a good kind of benchmark for your rotation. One, that's it. So she's twisting, touching one elbow, getting the shoulder blades off the floor. Fantastic. Third set coming up. Here we go. Go on, that's it. It's starting to bite now, that's it. Shoulder blades off. That's it. Get them up. Get them up. See how she's not flapping her elbows. They're just remaining absolutely still, which means all the effort's here. Well done, Claire. Doing a great job. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nearly there. Eight, nine, ten. Done. Well done, everybody. Third set coming up. Should we give her a rest? Get a rest? Give her a water. There we go. Okay, so think about this. this is the final set now. So go for it. Ready? Here we go. Chest flies. Now I'm going to add in a one and a half chest fly. So you can make it slightly harder if you want to. You don't have to. You can do exactly what we've been doing the first two sets. It's a half a rep, then a full rep. So let's do one and a half. Arms up. Ready? Let's go. 45 seconds. So open. Open. Half a rep. Back down. And then a full rep. That's it. So try not to bounce into it. Pause at the end of each part of the move. Good. Big squeeze. Up. Back down. And squeeze. So it's these bits here. You'll really feel those tomorrow. 20 seconds to go. Brilliant. Tighten. Do what you can do, but challenge yourself, but safely. <laughs> Squeeze it all the way up, Claire. Done. Hold it there. Okay. Lap pullover. Ready? This is just normal lap pullover. Let's go. All the way over. So as you get tired, you're going to really stretch and let the weights flop. Don't let them. You control them all the time. And you're driving your shoulder blades down a little bit just to activate. Perfect. Up. Oops. That's good. All the way. Tighten the stomach muscles. So she's not gripping with her legs. She's not gripping with her feet. She's gripping with her core and the back muscles. We've got 15 seconds left. Come on, everybody. This is groovy. <laughs> One of the sets nearly over. It's groovy from where I'm standing because I'm just pacing up and down. Dancing. Give me one more rep. Fab. Well, I care. Okay, you get? We're going to have a shoulder cross now. 
15 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Right arm, let's go. One. That's it. Good. Wonderful. Keeps the pressure up. Last rep. Done. I'll change arms. That's it. Here we go. 15 seconds on this arm now. So knuckles always facing behind you. Keep the chest open so they're not bringing round here. If you kind of spend a lot of time hunched over a laptop for work, you might find your shoulders are a bit rounded. Do your best to keep them open. Okay, first arm again. Let's go. That's it. So remember, we've got to keep this arm up, level with the shoulder. But basically, because of the mean. We want to get good technique, we want to challenge yourself. If it's really, really too much, then just let it drop down a little bit. Hold it, other arm. That's it, good, that's it, we're there, we're there. We're nearly done on this one. Then we've got the row and the tricep and the abs and it's finito. Perfect, that's it, that's it. We've probably got one, two, give me one more. Done, fabulous. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. Tricep. Oh. You okay? Here we go. Let's go. Drive. One. Squeeze it out. But back down. Perfect. Squeeze. Drive. Perfect. Try not to let them drop. So it's, let's extend. Now extend from there. That's it. Perfect. Good. 15 gone. We've got another 30 to go. Really nice. 15 seconds to go now. Clench. So think about trapping something in between your shoulder blades on that row and then extending and tensing the upper arm. Just give me one more rep. So bring it up, extend the arms, back, down. Perfect. Good. Okay. 10 crunches, 10 bicycle crunches, three times, then we're done, done, done. Ready. Let's go. Come on. One. That's it. Let's sort this. Let's get it sorted. That's it. Perfect. Ten. That's it. Drive. It'll be a bit sore from the last two sets. Just ignore it. Just keep going. Remember, put your feet on the floor and do little reaches rather than bicycle crunch if your abs are feeling a bit tired. Bit tired's good. Pushing through the bit tired is good, but if you really think your, your technique's going to go a bit pear shaped, then just put your feet on the floor. Perfect. You've got 10 seconds, that's all. 10 measly seconds. Come, come on. That's it. That's a go. Rotate, rotate. Elbow on the floor. Nearly there. Nearly there. Final set now. Come on. That's it. Three, See how Claire's speeding up a little bit? I think she wants to get that over and You probably do as well. You're doing a great job. That's good. Come on, breathe out. Breathe out, suck your navel in. That's it. We're nearly there. We're on the last leg now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh. Well done. Brilliant, brilliant workout. Well done, Claire. I think she's going to stay there for a bit. Right. Thank you very much, everybody. Don't forget to stretch and cool down. A good stretch for here will just be put your hand and just turn away like that to get a good stretch on your pecs. Well done, everybody. Thank you.